Hello, this is John Fawcett, Warning Coordination Meteorologist for the National Weather Service Office serving southern New Mexico and far west Texas, and this is the September 17th edition of the series of weather briefings uh, talking about the flood potential from former Hurricane Odile. And uh, the potential impacts, well, road closures and washouts, uh, there's already been a few. Uh, the western and northern portions of our eight county areas, uh, mainly west of the Rio Grande, are most susceptible to this, but it could be anywhere, believe me, with, with uh, all the moisture coming our way. The Gila region remains a big concern, and uh, the Department of Transportation for the state of New Mexico again wants to remind you that frontage roads flood more easily than the interstate, so when you're diverted off the interstate in the construction areas, keep that in mind. The Gila River will probably be flooding. This is not flash flooding. This is river flooding. That would be from Gila, New Mexico to the Arizona border. And then flooding below the Silver Fire burn scar. This has the potential of being the worst flooding below that burn scar since the fire left the scar a year in uh, a few months ago. One Direction's pre-concert setup, well the concert shouldn't have many weather issues, but until then, the setup uh, might be hazardous because of all the rain expected. And then finally, water, type, uh, water topping the spillways below the lakes in the Gila region and the Sacramento Mountains. The forecast models will show you two of the models right here. Still a little bit of a difference in the track, but not a lot. Either one still means a lot of heavy rain for the Gila region. Um, the one that is tracking further east in the yellow, that seems to be verifying if you look at the latest satellite imagery as of uh, Wednesday afternoon at least. Uh, here are the forecast rainfall amounts according to the Weather Prediction Center. Not much change from yesterday except maybe a little more emphasis in the Sacramento Mountains. And even though the numbers look a little less than yesterday, remember we've already got one or two days behind us and you're going to be adding these amounts to what has already occurred. So it's still a lot and that core over the Gila region is downright scary. Um, that is why there is a uh, probably going to be flooding along the Gila River. And then you look up into the Sacramento Mountains and, you know, Silver Lake and uh, uh, Lake Mescalero, um, you know, they they are only inches below the spillway, so there's a concern there. And even down south or up north where the uh, rainfall drops off a lot, well, look at El Paso Las Cruces area, for example, still uh, an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of rain, maybe even more than that, um, in the uh, next 24 to 48 hours. The further east you go, the later it starts and the longer it lasts. And the opposite's true for further west. And then let's add this in here. This afternoon there has been a dry slot ahead of the remnants of Odile. And don't be fooled because a dry slot means less moisture aloft, still a lot of moisture in the column of air, so you get more sunshine heating the ground, making it more unstable, and that means you get thunderstorms forming uh, in the dry slot and on the western edge ahead of the deepest moisture. Thunderstorms drop a lot more rain in a shorter amount of time uh, compared to the steady area-wide rains we're expecting. So that's something uh, that we're concerned about later this afternoon. River flooding is expected, as already mentioned, along the Gila River. Uh, and if you look at this graphic, uh, as of Friday afternoon, and the flooding will probably start as early as tonight, uh, be peaking late tomorrow into Friday afternoon. Uh, that little red dot or red uh, symbol by G-I-L, that is near Gila, New Mexico. And you follow the river down from there and it swings over uh, towards the left. Uh, there's the uh, Red Rock uh, flood gauge and the Verdon flood gauge. Uh, all of those are forecast to be above flood stage. So that is why we're concerned about the Gila River flooding. And look at these forecast graphs, the peak um, of the water level during flood stage. You start out upstream at uh, Gila, New Mexico, a half foot above flood stage, 
And then a little later downstream, four and a half feet above flood stage uh, near Red Rock. And then between Red Rock and Verdon, New Mexico, 10 feet above flood stage. So uh, that is not pretty. Uh, any folks that are near that river may need to uh, evacuate. We'll wait and see on that because there are still uncertainties and yet thunderstorms are already forming in the dry slot as of 3 p.m. Wednesday afternoon. So that's less of an uncertainty. Earlier we were wondering, is it going to get unstable enough in that sunshine? Odile's remnants? Yes, you saw the subtle differences in the timing and track among the models, but uh, either way, you're still going to get a lot of rain up in the Gila region. I think the real differences there would affect uh, Hudspeth County, um, much of El Paso County. And then the exact placement of the heavy rain spikes, you know, the, the isolated embedded thunderstorms dropping a lot more rain than the surrounding area. I can't really place those exactly right now. And then after Odile's uh, remnants pass through, uh, there still be there there should still be remnant moisture enough for isolated thunderstorms, and you know, we've got to watch that because there might be a lightning threat for the concert Friday evening. Hopefully not. Um, warnings and watches in effect. We have a flash flood watch for all areas, all eight counties through late Thursday evening. A river flood watch for the Gila River from Gila, New Mexico, to the Arizona border. Uh, for, valid tonight through Friday and then uh, the warnings we anticipate issuing flash flood warnings anywhere really but especially in the Gila region and then we could be issuing river flood warnings at points along the Gila River below Gila New Mexico so summarizing the impacts road closures washouts flooding of the Gila River below Gila New Mexico Flooding below the silver burn scar on both sides of the ridge uh, of the Black Range, and then water topping spillways in the Gila region and Sachs and those a few of those lakes, and then finally uh, complications with the preparation for the outdoor concert because of rain. Uh, let me remind you: turn around, don't drown. Do not become one of these statistics. This van was washed off a road southeast of Deming towards Rockhound State Park and fortunately uh, the uh, person inside was rescued uh, but that doesn't always happen that way so don't become a statistic. Thank you for your time. Before you are the social media outlets that we have where you can uh, keep up with us and don't forget our webpage either. Talk to you again tomorrow.